Yo, what's up? Chilling at the house right now. Uh, we just want to say thank you for the response videos. Everybody in LXD that was doing the toe tapping, that was crazy. We loved it. We was all laughing. It was tight. Uh, thank you everybody for the likes on the video because you guys put it up first on the see all video page. But um, we're going to do something called Pass the Bottle and we're going to give you an insight of our lives as dancers, who we are behind the dance. So check it out. When I was younger, my grandmother passed away, and my mom didn't take it too lightly. Having parents that were separated, and my mom going through what she was going through, I had to take care of my sisters. So sports was my outlet. Sports was where I got away. Um, my senior year, I had a life-changing injury, and that kind of ended my dreams of going far with sports. I searched and looked for my identity, and I kind of got into anything that was fun. I really had no identity. Through dancing, I was able to find myself. Dancing changed my life around, gave me direction. Before dancing, I was just a normal kid. I was rebellious to my parents, didn't really care about what my family had to say about anything. So I decided to start wrestling. And I was, I was alright with it. I was, I had like my whole future mapped out. I was supposed to go to college, go because wrestling, and then graduate and start a family. I had it all planned out like everybody. Else. And then uh, my parents started getting involved with wrestling, so I stopped wrestling. And that's the truth why I stopped wrestling. Dancing took over my life, and uh, after that, it led me to uh, God, and now I'm not a jerk. <laughs> now I'm not uh, a little punk on the street. I'm, I'm an okay kind of guy. So thank you, dancing. Coming from a home with seven kids and the youngest brother diagnosed with three brain tumors and cancer, my mother didn't have the time to properly care for me the way she, sh she could have. So it led me to drop out of school looking for the love and care that I never had. And I found myself with a group of friends and dance with sharing the passion that we all love. We went through similar things that I was going through, but we all could smile when we get together and dance. For years and years and years, I couldn't leave it. It helped me forget about the negative things and just keep my mind focused on the positive things in life. Having my mom die when I was 15 was one of the hardest things that I think anybody young could go through. I found a peace in going to places like church or hanging out with my friends and um, I started dancing. From that I was able to express myself trying to show people stories of other people's lives and other things that people can think of. Because I truly believe that you could reach people with the things that you go through and the things that you have to say and I believe everybody has a story to tell. And dancing itself has brought me to open up even after my mom passing. Caddy. The first time when I see my mom and dad separated kind of hurt me. Like that's something that I need to share because I know a lot of other people go through that. And from not having a dad, it makes you do other things and it makes you do what looks more like a family to you. So that's how I got into game banging, you know, because I grew up in Compton. I started dancing, I used to pop. I used to look at B Street breaking. You know, I used to like how people used to move and I, I wanted to do it. So from there, I had my eye on dancing. If I wasn't dancing, I think I'd either be dead in jail are just still hustling, are still banging. My life switched. I'm saved now. The toe tappy started off really small, just with us, and eventually people started catching on and it got pretty big. After putting it on the Coke Zero site, it blew up and got even bigger. I want this dance to be done all around the world, like globally, and I want it to be one of the next big dances. And I believe that Coke Zero can help us make that possible.